Lengthy delays at this train crossing often impact first responders and school bus drivers. A big reason a state lawmaker from here is now pushing for an urgent solution. On any given day, it's a familiar sight that threatens to impact emergency response times when seconds count. Going to have a male in his 70s fell down and hit his head. Train tracks at this time, Pennsylvania and Huron River Drive, as well as Sibley, are all blocked by a train. Surveillance cameras set up at multiple locations throughout the area give us a snapshot of what people in this community have often faced for decades. While shooting our story, we saw firsthand drivers left waiting and seeing red. How frustrated are you having to wait for this train? Very frustrated actually because my boss is kind of on my head about getting to the job. Stuck behind a train like this day after day, what goes through your mind? I get stuck by trains all the time when I go to work. There's like two tracks and every morning I get caught by them. Every morning it's like... It's one after another after another. According to township data, average response to a fire or medical emergency is roughly seven minutes. But Police Chief Everett Robbins says camera monitoring simply isn't enough and a bridge or underpass is needed at multiple locations. Even if the most direct route is blocked, they have to take a alternate route, which again can uh, increase response times. So sometimes that can delay 7 to 10 to 15 minutes. State Rep Darren Camilleri says trains are often loading up nearby and he hears complaints about this on a regular basis. He's leading an effort to raise funding in this year's state budget for a permanent fix. How do you get that funding secured? So we're working the budget process. Republicans and Democrats agree that we need to do something on this issue. The governor has set aside $60 million for statewide road improvements like this. Camilleri believes at least $25 million should be spent right here in Wayne County. We have historic levels of funding at the state right now for infrastructure that will allow us to solve this problem once and for all. With hundreds of emergency calls being made weekly, local business owner Craig Blankenship agrees more has to be done before additional lives are placed at risk and simply chugging along is no longer acceptable. The train could sit here for two, three hours sometimes, you know, if there was an emergency, it would be, uh, it would be hard to get, you know, anybody across the train tracks. Locations like Pennsylvania and Huron River and Sibley and I-275 are considered among the most problematic. Drivers now hoping to avoid more time and patience lost, keeping faith Funding won't get sidetracked in Lansing. There's no other way into town, basically. There's three exits and half the time they're all blocked. Representative Camilleri has already secured funding for a similar project in nearby Woodhaven, and he hopes to have funding ready to go for this project in the next few months. From Huron Township, Simon Chaquette, 7 Action News.